We are on the road going to Colorado, driving, been in the car like three or four hours, had to stop to go to the bathroom like three times already because kidney stones when you're traveling is not fun. We're Em and Cy and we can't wait to take you along on our adventures while we're searching for Squatchy. burgers and a limeade for me. I wanted to record a video to show you everything that we packed for this trip and the kind of the food situation that I had planned out, what we're going to eat. We are not camping for this trip. We are splitting an Airbnb with size cousins. We're so excited to hang out with them this week. Um, so the food situation is a little bit different because we are going to plan to eat out a little bit on the road to get there during the road trip um, and probably at night while we're in Colorado as well. Um, and we have a refrigerator and things like that. So. Um, I'm also doing some crock pot meals so that we can have dinner cooking uh, while we're out on the slopes during the day. And um, so I'm excited about that. And yeah, so it's less camping gear that we have packed, um, but I'm gonna show you what I brought for clothes for me and Cy. And yeah, what we, what we have planned for, for this trip. For my clothes, I just wore leggings underneath my snow pants. So I wore long underwear and sweatpants. And then for the top layer, I just wore a base shirt and a board shirt. He added a waffle shirt and a sweater on top of it. And then we both had insulated warm jackets. And we stayed warm throughout the whole trip besides the chairlift. <laughs> it was in the 20s with really crazy wind, um, but the chairlift was a little cold. <laughs> So to create my packing list for this trip, I'm going to use my packing list templates that I have uploaded in Trello. You can actually download this yourself if you just go to searchingforsquatchy.com slash Trello packing and then you can download this for free and do exactly what I'm doing for your own trips. I used a template to create my packing list really simply and quickly and then I added in all of the groceries that I wanted to bring. Um, since this trip was, we were staying at an Airbnb, it was a little bit different for the food that I brought and the food situation ended up being a little bit more complicated since we were also kind of splitting with size cousins that we went with and my lunch plans totally did not go according to plan as I'll explain later on. I will say pre-cooking most of the chili to bring so that I could just dump this with some beans and beef broth was super smart and saved me a lot of prep. I've got my olive oil and hydrant that and um, peanut butter and honey that pretty much always just stays in my food tub. Um, and for this trip, I'm bringing hot cocoa mix, chili beans for my chili, tortillas, pretty much always bring tortillas, um, rice and beans for one of the meals, is pepper, pepperoncini peppers, which are amazing, um, beef stock for the chili, bananas, bananas are always awesome to travel with, or those are apples. Here are the bananas. <laughs> bananas are not always easy to travel with, but I need to eat some bananas for my kidney stones. And I also need to eat lemon, or drink lemon water. Um, I'm also bringing some limeade, which I'm really excited about. Um, Fritos for the chili. This is one of my favorite snacks. I love this. My popcorn really popped coming up this high. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not even a chill corn person, but it is amazing. And I wanted to bring these as a little treat um, just because, yeah, these are like one of my childhood favorite like cookies. 
actually just remembered that I for, forgot to pack my crock pot, so I need to pack that in here. And so I put my um, <laughs> two most crushable things, the Fritos and my cookies in there, and then I'm just gonna put everything else around it. And this is just gonna make it easier to carry into the Airbnb. Of course, I usually don't bring a crock pot with me when we're going places, but since we are going skiing, um, and we have an Airbnb, I just thought like making some crock pot meals with, um, while we're out, like out on the slopes would be nice. Okay, <laughs> this is a lot of snacks that I'm bringing, but I'm really excited about these snacks. I like the kid cliff bars a lot better than um, the regular cliff bars because their texture is just so much better. Also like to pack just random snacks just for um, some variety and stuff. I love these fruit leather and we're kind of children about eating these like um, fruit and um, sometimes they have vegetable um, squeezy things that are just really nice to get like a, I don't know, a healthy snack in there. I, I love fruit snacks. I don't eat them a whole lot, but um, I am packing some just for like a fun little treat. Um, protein bars aren't something that we try to eat like a lot of. And I really do like these little kind mini bars. Um, because a lot of times I will actually split like a, a protein bar or some kind of big bar with Psy. Um, but I like the minis because you can just kind of have your own, even if it's like a, like a small snack. Because like some of these bars, this bar is actually not too bad, the thins. Um, I really like the texture of this one too because the nuts are a lot more chopped up. Um, but yeah, sometimes you just don't want a whole bar by yourself. So I like the minis. Um, and then got some chocolate covered almonds. I love these Blake's bars. Um, yeah, they're seed based, so they're just different than other kinds of like, I don't know, like a protein bar or granola bar or something like that. Actually, these are my favorite. Um, <laughs> so I um, got some hot nuts in Mexico when he visited this fall and um, they are amazing, okay? This is not very, very hot. It's, it is spicy. It's got like a kick to it, but ooh, it has such good flavor. Um, we're bringing some jerky. I love this turkey jerky or, you know, turkey like, yeah, I don't know. It was sausage sticks. Um, but I'm trying to stay away from too much sodium and processed stuff around my kidney stones, but we'll just see how it goes. Um, and then I really love these Nature's Bakery fig bar hippies. So it's a chickpea like puff and it's kind of like um, Cheetos, but I think they're a little bit healthier. Again, I'm trying not to eat too much processed food, but you know, when you're traveling, it's kind of hard. So yeah, this is a lot of snacks to bring for not even a whole full week, but I like to have a variety available because you never know like what you're gonna be hungry for. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on in here. I have things kind of somewhat organized in bags. Um, yeah, it's ripping, but I'm gonna take it all out of there. Just kind of sectioned and grouped together on what I am planning to bring. And then I can just like throw those things right into the Yeti. Um, I do have a list because like eggs aren't in a bag and the grapes I'm gonna throw in there too. Um, but yeah, by and large, um, it's pretty organized, so I can just kind of throw it in there. I have some stuff in the freezer too. I'm also bringing this uh, bag, uh, cooler bag, and it has some snacks for the road. Um, some carrots and broccoli with some dip, um, and these amazing energy bites energy bites things that I've made. And then, ooh, I love these little things. Um, just for a little snack. And then I did pack some salads in here too, just because um, hopefully we can stop and get like some more substantial food, but we need some vegetables and stuff too. And I thought that would be something good if we're in a stretch where we don't have any food. So I stopped to get some gross food from this place I really I just I don't like it so I'm not even gonna tell you what it is <laughs> but um I am gonna have one of the salads that I packed um 
and I'm not driving, so it's a little easier to eat a salad in the car. Um, and I'm just not like super, super hungry. Um, and so that's why it was like, Sai is like, I'm going to stop at this place. Um, I've just gotten sick there before. Um, and I know like a lot of people like this place and stuff and, um, yeah, I don't know. But just sometimes, you know, when you get like food poisoning from a place, you just like have bad memories and you're just like, I'm not going to go through that again. And especially with what I'm going through right now, no thanks. <laughs> so I'm going to do this fiesta salad with chicken. Mixing the salad is always the hardest part. I would say like way harder than even eating it. Okay, mixing it up actually wasn't that bad. I'm usually pretty good about road trips and stuff. And I mean, I would think like on a road trip this long, usually I'd have to stop maybe like two, three times maybe. Um, but we've had to stop like almost every hour. It has just been painstakingly like long trip um so yeah that's kind of the bummer but mixing up the salad while you're waiting in the car is not too bad but like when you're actually driving maybe it'd be a little difficult all these aspirations for tailgating and making warm hot lunches when we were on the slopes but but it was so windy and cold that we just packed some snacks and some peanut butter tortillas we made breakfast and a few dinners at the airbnb including a super bowl sunday chili dogs and chicken wings and all the kinds of super bowl food and then we went to bojo's which is awesome you do honey with the crust of the pizza and it's delicious and we got some nachos and made some hot chocolate and played some games and then we had our blustery drive home we stopped for lunch but I had dinner planned with some salads that barely made it while we were gone and the best frozen pizza ever I topped it with some frozen chicken and it was amazing Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the vlogs on how the actual skiing and snowboarding went. I cannot wait to share some of these stories with you guys. It was pretty awesome for my first time skiing on a real mountain, but there was definitely a lot of challenges I was not prepared for.